Hi everyone! We are going to learn standard chorus HSK1 in this course. I'm going to guide you through the content in this book and share with you my tips and tricks to make it easier for you guys to learn. 10 to page 2, we are going to see lesson 1. The title of lesson 1 is 你好, that is hello in Chinese. Let's go through the text of lesson 1. The text in lesson 1 is simple. I'm going to focus more on the Chinese pronunciation so that you can get used to it easily. A says, 你好. Here, pay attention. I show you an easy way for you to get used to it. You just try with N-E-E. -E. Read it as 你. 你. 你 is third tone. But when it's followed with 好, 好 is another third tone. When we have two third tone together, we read it as the second tone. So 你 becomes 你. Pay attention to it. Let's read it together. Read after me. 你, 你 with a second tone. 你, 你 好, 好 all together. 你好, 你 is you. 好 is good, literally you good. That is hello in Chinese. Read after me again. 你好, 你好. Pay attention to the difference between the pronunciation of Chinese letters and English letters. I, we don't pronounce it as I in English. We pronounce it as E, -E. So it is Ni, Ni, Hao, Hao, Ni, Hao. Let's do it a normal speed. Ni, Hao, Ni, Hao. When someone else says that to you, how do you respond? Just repeat it. Ni, Hao, Ni, Hao, Ni, Hao. That is text one. Let's move on to text two. A says, 您好. 您好. 您 is you, but that is a more respectful way to say you, to show more respect to the listener. 好, good. 您好. 您好. You good. That is hello in a really respectful way for a respectable person. You can see the picture in your textbook. They are talking to an old guy. In Chinese, we use this ning for someone is old or of a higher position. Ning hao. Ning hao. B says, Ni men hao. Ni men hao. Ni men hao. Men is neutral. We just do it slightly. Ni men. Ni men. That is the plural form of you. We can translate it into you guys. Hao good. You guys good. That is hi guys in English. Ni men hao. Hi guys. Ni men hao. That is text two. Let's move on to text three. A says, 对不起. 对不起. Here you can rewrite 对 into D W E I. 对. If you rewrite this U into W, you will find the pronunciation is easier for you. At the very beginning, I recommend you to do this. Rewrite the U into W. It becomes D W E I fourth tone. That is 对. 对,不,不, you can make it into B-O-O, -O. 不, here is neutral, just read it slightly, 起, you can make it C-H-E-E, -E, like a qi in English, all together, 对不起, 对不起, that is sorry in Chinese. 对不起, 对不起, B says, 没, 
关系，没关系，没关系。Again, we can rewrite this u into w, make it into g w a n. 关关 to make the pronunciation easier for you to say. 关系关系。没 that is no in English. 关系 relation. 没关系 literally it means no relation. Actually, it means it doesn't matter or that's okay as a response to 对不起 sorry in Chinese. Let's read the text again. 对不起没关系 Let's go through text one to text three at a slow speed and normal speed. Read after me. 你好，你好，您好，你们好。对不起，没。关系 The second time at the normal speed. 你好，你好，您好，你们好。对不起，没关系。Lesson two. 谢谢你 Thank you. Let's go through the text of lesson two. A says, 谢谢谢谢 That is thanks in Chinese. B says, 不谢不谢 Literally, don't thank. Sounds a bit awkward, right? The full phrase is, 不用谢不用谢，不用 means don't have to. 谢 thank. Now it makes sense. 不用谢，不用谢 Don't have to say thank you. Don't have to thank me. A better translation for these two phrases is don't mention it. That's another way to respond to thanks. Or thank you, but this is the shortened way. At the very beginning, I recommend you to speak in the full phrase. 不用谢 but you may hear 不谢不谢 So for listening, you need to understand both. But for speaking, I recommend you to speak in this way. 不用谢不用谢 Let's move on to text two. A says, 谢谢你谢谢你谢谢 thank 你 you. So that is the literal translation for thank you. 谢谢你谢谢你。谢谢你。B says, 不客气，不客气，不客气。That is, don't be so polite. 不 is don't. 客气 is so polite. Don't be so polite. This is your welcome in Chinese. The most common way to respond to 谢谢你 thank you. Or 谢谢 thanks. I recommend you to say you are welcome in this way. 不客气，不客气。Let's move on to text three. A says 再见，再见，再 The pronunciation for 再 may not be easy for you. You can rewrite z into ds. Make it like this. 再再再见
再见。再 again 见 see all together again see that is like see you again. That's goodbye in Chinese. So when we say goodbye in Chinese, what we really say is hope to see you again. 再见 How to respond to it? Say it again. 再见再见 Let's go through the text again at slow speed and normal speed. 谢谢不谢谢谢你不客气。再见，再见。Let's read the text at normal speed. Read after me. 谢谢，不谢，谢谢你，不客气。再见。再见。Lesson three. 你叫什么名字 ？What's your name? Let's go through the text in lesson three. Text one. A says. 你叫什么名字？你叫什么？名字，你 ，you， 叫 ，call。Here we can take it as are called。什么 ，what？ 名字 ，name。你叫什么名字 ？You are called what name？ That is， what's your name in Chinese？ So we don't do the literal translation of "What is your name?" We put "What" at the beginning of the sentence. But in Chinese, we don't change the word order. We just do. You are called what name? 你叫什么名字？你叫什么名字 ？B says, 我叫李。月，我叫李月。我 I 叫 am called。李 is Li, a common Chinese surname, like the famous Kung Fu master Bruce Lee. 月 is the given name. In Chinese names, we have surname first, then we have given name. Li Yue. 李月，我叫李月。My name is Li Yue. So we don't really say my name is Li Yue. What we say is, I am called Li Yue. Pay attention to the word order here. You can see in Chinese the question, 你叫什么名字 and the answer. 我叫李月 The word order is the same. We don't change the word order from a statement to a question. We just keep the same word order. 你叫什么名字？我叫李月 Let's read text one again at slow and normal speeds. 你叫。什么名字？我叫李月。你叫什么名字？我叫李月。Let's move on to text two. A says， 你是老师吗？你是老师吗？你 you 是 are 
老师 teacher. Ma, you can see the explanation in the book or in a dictionary. Ma is a particle in the end of a sentence to show it's a yes or no question. I have to say the definition is too long and not easy for you to remember. I recommend you to remember it with my translation or not. 你是老师吗 ？You are teacher or not? That is, are you a teacher in Chinese? 你是老师吗 ？B says, 我不是老师，我是学生。我不是老师，我是学生。我 I 不 not 是 am 老师 teacher。我不是老师 ，I not am teacher。Actually, it is. I am not a teacher. 我 I 是 am 学生 student. I am student. That is, I am a student. 我是学生。我不是老师。我是学生。I am not a teacher. I am a student. 我不是老师，我是学生。Pay attention to the answer from B. In Chinese, when we answer a question, we don't really say yes or no. We quote or negate the verb from the question. Here, we negate the verb 是 so we make it into 不是。我不是老师，我是学生。Let's move on to text three. A says, "You are Chinese, right? You are Chinese, right? You are Chinese, China, person, person." 中国人 ，China person. Actually, it is Chinese. When we are talking about someone's nationality in Chinese, we just say the name of the country, 中国 China, and then we have a person, 人 after it. 中国人 ，China person. That is Chinese. Ma or not? 你是中国人吗 ？You are China person or not? Are you Chinese? 你是中国人吗？你是中国人吗 ？B says， 我不是中国人。我是美国人，我不是中国人，我是美国人，我不是中国人，我。I, 不 not 是 am 不是 I'm not 中国人 China person that is Chinese. 我不是中国人 I am not Chinese. Again, when we say no in Chinese, we don't really say no. We just quote the verb. We just we just quote the verb or negate the verb. Here we negate the verb. 不是我不是中国人。I am not China person. I am not Chinese. 我
I. 是 am. 美国 the U.S. 人 person. I am the U.S. person. You can see we have the name of the country, 美国 again, and we have 人 person. 美国人 the U.S. person, American. 我是美国人 I am the U.S. person. I'm from U.S. I am American. 我是美国人 Let's read text three again at slow and normal speeds. 你是中国人吗？我不是中国人。我是美国人。The normal speed. 你是中国人吗？我不是中国人，我是美国人。The complete HSK One course contains the full Chinese pronunciation course for beginners. The literal translation for the texts, simplified Chinese grammar elaboration, Chinese speaking practice, textbook exercise tutorials, the stroke by stroke Chinese writing section. Additionally, you will get the PDF and MP3 files of the textbook, the workbook, and past test papers of HSK One. Click the link in the description below to get the complete course to skyrocket your Chinese listening, speaking, reading, and writing skills with every lesson.